In recent years, Africa has undergone a transformative journey, one that unearths the resilience, innovation, and economic potential of a continent bursting with opportunity. It's time to redefine this place with limitless possibilities. I am Nomad Ndebele. This is A New Image of Africa. A revolution is underway in Africa, grand in cost, scale, and impact, and is making the continent a leader in all things transportation, energy, and telecommunications. Brace yourself for Africa's infrastructure revolution. Ethiopia and Rwanda are pulling out all the stops when it comes to air travel. The six billion US dollar revamp of Addis Ababa's airport in 2024 will increase its capacity by a whopping 400% and will be able to service 125 million people per year. Rwanda also has a share of the pie, building a $2 billion airport south of Kigali, able to handle 150,000 tons of cargo and 14 million passengers per year. Not only is the sky the limit, rail link expansion is growing across the continent, with the most significant being Angola's Lobito Atlantic Railway, expected to begin construction in 2024. With food security spurring its efforts, this rail line connects agricultural land with African markets. So shout out to those guys for addressing one of Africa's biggest concerns. Next up, let's talk energy. Solar energy is on everyone's lips. And in this case, size does not matter. Solar Group's 195 megawatt solar plant is set to start construction in 2024 in South Africa's Free State Province. The $158 million project is set to generate power for numerous energy-threatened African countries. How about that being a way to keep the lights on? Lastly, let's talk telecoms. According to research, Africa's lucrative internet economy is being overlooked by investors. It has the potential to add $180 billion to the continent's GDP by 2025. One of the main players in this sector is the growing global fiber optic submarine cable systems market, forecast to rake in as much as $37 billion by 2027. The infrastructure revolution is in full swing, and one pioneer leading the way is Nelson Borting and his team at Nelplast Eco Ghana Limited. They use plastics as concrete to build roads and houses. Talk about killing two birds with one stone. So Nelson, what excites you most about Africa's opportunities in the infrastructure market? We're coming up with different building materials, especially the one with the low cost to help most people to acquire a house to live in. If you were investing in African infrastructure, where would you put your money? If I want to invest in infrastructure, where I will really pump my money to is discovery of new materials. For example, what we are doing here, building with the plastics. Now, Ghana has a housing deficit of over 2,000 and um, investing in said new materials will help us get more people to acquire the house. It also grew the, the, the business in a way by people patronizing in our new materials. So I think if I want to invest, I'll put my money into um, these new materials because we have them a lot around in Ghana and it's very affordable when we build with such materials. How are regular Africans benefiting from an infrastructure revolution on the continent? Okay. A lot of benefit when it comes to revolution of infrastructure. For example, what we are doing, building with the plastics, we have um, a lot of women, especially, who goes around to pick the plastic and they are being paid for. We have uh, women also that are being trained on how to build, which they are also being paid for. Now, the, the most important thing is we are picking up plastic which that we feel is waste, that is uh, disturbing the environment, and, and uh, convert it to something that is very important to build structures for the ordinary Ghanaian. Now, there are some women that cannot afford to, or that cannot save enough to acquire a house. Now, what we do for them is they collect the plastic waste. Now, we, we, we cost it, let's say one bedroom house with kitchen and uh, toilet and bath, we need about 13 kilos of plastic waste. So they collect that plastic waste, we cost them, and then we give them the house so they can be paying with supply of plastic waste from the environment. So I think that is really something beneficial to the waste collected, especially the women. 
It is crystal clear that the continent is determined to build a brighter future for its people. Viva Africa's infrastructure revolution. The world is your oyster, but Africa remains its pearl. Why wouldn't you want to invest? What are you waiting for? A new image of Africa. Picture it.